Hi there. I wanted to share some things that came out of the speaker series I attended today with some G7 diplomats talking about the viewpoints of their countries on various issues. Of course, there was key themes and they were talking at a global level about things like the refugees and the counterterrorism that needed to take place, some economic growth issues that they, they wanted to see at the next G7 summit, and climate change. However, there was also three themes that came out across all countries that they talked about and that are shared uh, with the G7. And I thought that they applied to my life and business and that they may also apply to yours. The three themes were having a common shared set of values. So that's something that you should ask yourself for anyone that works with you or for you in your co company. Do they have shared values? Do they understand what your values are as, as a person and for your company? When you have differing values you can often end up in disagreements or coming at a problem from a different way and maybe missing the understanding that needs to happen. So when you're working towards the same goal, it's important that you set what your shared values are and that everyone understands what they are. Um, this is really important also when you're picking a coach. You don't necessarily have to have shared values in that case, but it's important that you understand what your values are and what the coach's values are. In fact, it's one of the first exercises I do with my clients is helping them tell me what, my, what their values are so that when we're working through mindset issues, I'm making sure that the, the solutions we come up with and the things that they work on are aligned with their values and helping them see where, where that isn't working. It might be that they're working out of alignment. The second thing that came up was accountability. So the, you know, they were accountable for implementing the recommendations that were put forward by the G7. Now I can't, I can't speak to whether or not that's true for them, but the fact that accountability was so important, I thought is really important in my life. And you know, in the, in the people that I hire, I want them to be accountable to the work that's assigned to them, to the deadlines they set with me. Also, I need to be accountable to myself as a person and to my business and to my clients. And also, I would like my coaches to be accountable to me as well. So where are you setting those boundaries and establishing that accountability? Are you being accountable to yourself? Are you following through on the things that you said that you're going to do, whether that's with your coach or on your own? Are you being accountable to your employees or the people that you want to work with, to your clients? Ask yourself that question. The last thing that came up was multilateralism. And that was a really common thing that happened that they talked about in every area. And I thought that was really interesting because in my business, it's really important that I work multilaterally with anyone that's not working in my area of expertise that I may need to pull in to help my business, but also those other experts on the round mindset. It's really important I work with them, that I continue growth, that I find ways to work with their network and them with mine. And you know, that I help my clients work in that way and think in that way. So where can you work more multilaterally and where have you been doing really great stuff in that area? Or perhaps you've been holding yourself back. Maybe you're hesitant to reach out to someone because you're not sure if they'd want to talk about what you want to talk about. Perhaps it's something that, you know, you think might help your business, but you're just not sure. Take that leap, make that phone call, send that email. You just never know what might happen. I hope these were helpful. It was a really great, interesting conversation. It's always great to be able to, you know, meet with people at that level and to get a different perspective from your day-to-day -day life. So this was Delora Guigno and I will talk to you soon.